Well, greetings. It's been a while since we've talked. I've been extremely busy uh, and backed up. Here is a pair of 128Hs, JBL 128Hs, that we're in for a complete recone. Uh, and I'll show you why. This was the cone assembly used for a 128H. Uh, a couple things. It's not finished in Aquaplaz, that's for sure. And it's basically the style cone for a 2213 or 123A uh, variant cone. And this one was, well, it's got a 4 inch dome on it, which is no good. And this one, the cone was grafted onto the uh, original, I'm throwing this away. Cone was grafted onto the original spider and voice coil. So this, the date on here is 1980. Uh, the gentleman shipped them to me to, to do them right. Here's one of them working. That's the aquaplaws on the cone. So what do I have to do for these? This is the cone. This is the correct cone for a 128H. And to coat it with aquaplaws, I tried making a mask for the foam surround, but it didn't work too good. So what I what I have to do is actually remove the surround and discard it, and then coat the cone with the aquaplaws, uh, and then put the new surround on it. So that's how I did this. Uh, it's, a, it's just some others I do that way as well because it's it's really difficult to mask off the the surround and not get aquaplaws on it and have a have a nice clean edge. It's about test voltage, six volts. This pair is going to uh, Tennessee. I seem to have a lot of. A lot of customers from uh, that part of the country. And uh, these are going into, I believe it's a pair of uh, L150s. But they are renewed, correct, and ready to rock again. So thanks for your indulgence. Thanks for your continued business. Thanks for your patience. Uh, talk later. Bye.